So here we're continuing on with the structures that are found within the ear. So this right here is the tympanic membrane. So that is the tympanic membrane. I'm going to take it out of here. Now there is an ear bone that is attached to the tympanic membrane. And so it starts here and works down here. So, uh, this is it here and it also comes down there and that is the malleus. So that ear bone right there is the malleus. This one, which is the middle ear bone, is the incus. So that is the incus right there. And then the other ear bone, which is on this part of the model right there, is the stapes. So this one right here is the stapes. Now, looking at this part of the model, we're seeing a few structures. We're seeing this structure that kind of looks like a snail here, and that is called the cochlea. This part right here, where you see these three tubes, these are the semicircular canals. So those three tubes are the semicircular canals. Where they end, and it swells up here a little bit, where they enter into the rest of the ear, and those areas where they swell up is called an ampulla. This area right here, which is in between the semicircular canals and the cochlea, is called the vestibule. So that is called the vestibule right there. Now if I turn this model around this way, we can see that there are nerves leading away from these different areas. This nerve right here, since it's going away from the cochlea, is the cochlear nerve. This nerve here, since it's going away from the vestibule here, is the vestibular nerve. Now if we look on the bottom of the model here, we see that there is a circular object here, and this is known as the round window. The other window is actually underneath the stapes, and we can see that on a different model.